Hello and welcome to Kittrick Farms. We're back with another episode of Lincoln Creek, Nebraska. And as many of you pointed out in the comments, we forgot to load up all of the soybean uh, bales out here in this field. And it's probably contributing to the drop in frame rates that we've been seeing in the last couple of episodes. Bales and frames don't tend to mix too well. Many of you have suggested that I use one of the in-game stacking bale trailers to have course play pick up all the bales on the field and bring them to a single point that I can then load up with my auto load trailer here. Unfortunately, I tried it out and for whatever reason in this field, I can't get it to automatically detect the bales and pick it up. So today we're going to be just picking up the large square bales with the trailer like we've done for the cornfield here. And honestly, this field isn't nearly as big as the other fields. So we are going to attempt to make pretty short work of this. We're going to get all these bales off of this field and then jump into the next task of the day. Now our soybean bales sold for about as well as our corn bales, if I recall. In fact, the current price is actually a little bit better than corn, probably because we sold so many corn stock bales here over the last uh, couple of episodes. And so we should make a decent amount off of these bales. There are quite a few of them. So we've got our first load of bales all loaded up here on the trailer. We're gonna zip on down here to the animal dealer and get these sold off. Now, luckily it should be a straight shot down this road from where we're at. And so I actually think it's gonna go pretty quick here to get this field emptied off. We're not going to spend nearly the time we did doing the uh, cornfield down in the other corner of the map because that was actually quite a haul away from us. So if we unload this here, we're going to get a grand total of $937 for a full trailer of bales. So that's pretty consistent with what we've been doing here. And so we're going to keep going on this and check back in when we're all done with the bales here. So that was too much fun. We've hauled quite a few bales off of the field here. And so we're taking our last load up to the sell point here so that we can uh, finally, finally be done with bales uh, in this map. And honestly, probably uh, this series, we probably won't get another opportunity to run bales on this map with FS22 so close to coming out. So if we take a quick look here at our stats, we sold $4,232 of bales today, which equates to, I believe, about five loads here. So not too shabby. Didn't take too long to crank that out. And so we're going to go ahead and bring this setup back up to the farm. And I believe we've got a special delivery coming today here. So we better get back up there and see what kind of equipment we've got sitting in the yard at the farm. So we're back up here in the yard and we've got quite a treat. Forward Ag has sent out their latest liquid cart as well as this wonderful cedar that they've edited up to be able to work with it. As well as with the big anhydrous tank that they've also had out. So... All of the hoses are ran into this uh, cedar. This is the big seed hawk cedar. It has all these extra hoses. So you'll notice that there's both black hoses and white hoses here. One for seed, one for fertilizer. We've got the seed cart here with old logos available on it now. And we've been able to convert this over to only hold seed rather than seed and dry fertilizer, leaving us the option then to hook up this wonderful KC9500 liquid fertilizer tank. This thing is an absolute monster. I'm loving these new tracks that they've got on here. And so we're gonna be giving this thing a try. I absolutely love the attention to detail and the hoses. Uh, I believe this mod is capable of supporting the manure system as well. We're not using that in this save here, but uh, I love having the hoses run along the seed cart and up to the front here. It's just so good looking. So we're gonna be taking this thing out and putting some winter wheat in our fields here. 
let's get to it. All right, we've got this, uh, I don't even know what to call it, this seed train up here onto our soybean field to plant some winter wheat. This thing is humongous. It, uh, it's going to be uh, interesting to try and navigate around with this. And so I realized while we're driving down here, it's called the KC 9500 because it holds 9,500 gallons of liquid fertilizer. So that's rather convenient. We're going to get this thing all unfolded here. And I believe we're going to actually take some headlands off here because I'm not sure how to calculate the width of this. So we're going to take it for a pass around the field here. And then we'll start uh, working our way up and down the rows here and getting some stuff seeded. This thing is an absolute beast, though. Uh, I'm hoping our quad track's up to the task of pulling it. We might have needed to pop out the big butt or something here to keep up with all this. But we'll give it a shot. I am sure these tracks are going to be more than capable of pulling this but i can't even get a good camera angle here to get it all in view so we're gonna work on that here while we open this field up so let's get everything fired up and we're gonna start working our way around here and see how it goes it feels like we're pulling a little hard but it's going all right i want to pop open our menu and Remember, we are using precision farming here on this save. And so it looks like we are properly applying our fertilizer for wheat here. If I bring up my F1 menu, we are applying the optimal value for wheat in loamy sand. And so that's super handy that everything is set up so that the planting is happening. And then we're getting our fertilizer applied here. So precision farming is uh, good to go with this whole setup. Man, this thing is huge, though. I'm having a hard time uh, navigating some of these sharper turns. I need to watch a few more videos from some of the big farmers, like the Welkers and stuff, to see what they do with their headland passes and stuff. I feel like they've got so much space in those areas that they're really not trying to seed right up against a uh, tree line or anything like this. But that's, uh, well, that's where we find ourselves, so... We're going to go ahead and try to make it all the way around this field without leaving too much stubble on the field edge or crashing into any of our trees here. While I can't find a good camera angle, it looks like we're finding a good spot with this uh, cedar here to make these turns. This is a little bit more gradual of a turn here, but uh, for our first time out, this is uh, working out pretty good. I'm loving the stuff that Forward Ag puts out. I can't wait to see some of their stuff hit Farm Sim 22. We've got a lot of big equipment coming in base game for Farm Sim 22. I know the X9 has uh, been announced. We've got big semi trucks and trailers here coming. And so we're going to have a lot of fun running some big farms again here in uh, 22 in the next uh, week or so here. At the time of recording this video, We've got right about uh, one week left before Farm Sim 22 videos are going to start coming out on the channel. Now, one of the things I forgot to mention is that this uh, mod by Forward Ag is an early preview that he sent over to me. Uh, I should say the team at Forward Ag sent over, as I know there's several people involved with getting these mods out, as well as all of their testers. And so I'm always happy to uh, put some of their mods through the paces. Forward Ag has been a friend of the channel for a long time. At the time of recording this, though, I believe this mod has not yet been released, and so... I will put a link to Forward Ag's Facebook page in the description of the video so that you can go ahead and follow his social media account to get an idea of when this is going to be released. I know they've already been talking about getting their mods over to FS22 as soon as it comes out and what that process is going to look like, but I think this is one that they're planning to still release for FS19 since it is so close. So make sure to head on over to the Forward Ag Facebook page and show them some support if this is a uh, set of mods that's interesting to you. I know I love a lot of the big equipment that they've been putting out and can't wait to see what they're going to do in FS22. 
So with our first headland pass done already here, I honestly, I think we're going to need another one. This setup is ginormous. Turning this around without two headland passes is going to be kind of a struggle. And let's be honest, this field is not that big. So by the time I take two headland passes off, we're going to have knocked out quite a bit of this field, but that's okay. Let's uh, let's go ahead and get to it. We'll knock out this headland pass and get going on the rest of the field here. We are starting in on our final pass here with this big cedar hitting some wheat. It is, uh, it's been an adventure. This thing is an absolute beast. I'm loving it. A huge shout out once again to Forward Ag for hooking us up with this and letting us test this out in our final days of FS19. Hopefully you've enjoyed today's episode. If you have, drop a like. It helps the channel out immensely. And stay tuned on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. I'll be live streaming Farm Sim 22. I've got early access to the game, and I'm looking forward to showing you guys everything I can about it. I'll also be putting up a bunch of tutorial videos and probably starting off a Let's Play series right out of the gate with FS22. So stay tuned next week on Friday, November 20th as we dive into that that's all for today Ketterk out so we've got our first load of bales here all picked up we're gonna go ahead and see what we can do oh my goodness no the stop sign oh <laughs> didn't make the turn shortcut uh, i know somebody's gonna call me out on it so we're gonna add a driveway there we go so let's go ahead and wait for a loading screen. Forward Ag has sent over their latest... What is it, a mod? Don't hit the pole. Oh my goodness, we jackknifed the cedar. We gotta pay more attention. At least we won't have to come up in this section again.